Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful gown with cow sleeves. As you can see right here, this dress is actually very gorgeous. As you can see, it's simple and cute. And you can use it for any occasion of your choice. You can see the back. We have a slit at the back. You can also make this pencil. You can make it straight. It depends on what you actually want. You can see the bands on the sleeves. Okay, so I'll be teaching you how to make all of this in this class. Okay, so if this is what you want to learn, please stay tuned till the end of this tutorial. So in this Thank class, you. I'll be teaching you how to make uh, this beautiful cow. Uh, gown you are seeing there with cow sleeves okay so this dress you can choose to make it fitted you can choose to make it add uh, some ease to it so i'll be using my doll face satin fabric here i have two yards of doll face and two yards of doll face will be able to do um, almost every size okay but if you're on the plus size you can make use of two and a half yards so i'm using two yards for the for this dress and i have my lace i'll be placing uh, my door face as my interfacing and I'm, i'll be using this fabric for my cow sleeves so for your cow sleeve you don't need to use them um, any thick fabric for it like door face and kara it will not form the cow so uh, oftentimes we use them um, very soft fabrics like lacra fabric, very soft one, crepe, uh, silk. These are fabric that you can use to achieve that cow. So here you can see I have a soft fabric that can achieve that cow at the end of the day. So I'm actually using a silk uh, fabric. It's not too silky, but it will really give us the cow effect. So now we want to start up this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comment on the comment, comment section and your suggestions as well. So what I have here is two yards, like I said. A yard is 36 and two yards when put together. As you can see, I've already put two yards together. So these two years I'm, I've put together now will give me 36, okay? I put it together and it's giving me 36, as you can see, 36 inches. So these 36 inches I put together, the first satin fabric comes at 60 inches length. So that will give you a full uh, gown length if you want to make a gown for this uh, sleeve. So I'll actually, actually put it together again. Now I have 18. So I have four pieces here. One, two, and the one on four, three, four. Because I've already put it together. So I will be using the folded part of it. This is the folded part of it. It's going to serve as my center front, as you can see. So I'm going to arrange my fabric very well now before we start this tutorial. I'm done folding my fabric and I want to show you or explain to you what I did. So these two yards which I folded, this is what I did. I left one inch seam allowance for my zipper, okay? So because this is actually a fitted gown and we need a zipper allowance and a slit allowance so you'll be able to walk freely with it. If you are making a long um, garment with it so you need your one inch seam allowance for your zipper so this is one inch for my zip allowance so you can see the part that is splitted into two is my zip allowance and the part on fold is the center front line so this is my line which 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 is our shoulder starting line and from that shoulder starting line i took the measurement of my I'm going to take the measurement from that shoulder starting line to my bust point line. My bust point line is 10 and half. I'll add half an inch to it, which is 11. So this half an inch is um, because of half an inch we are going to use to sew. So after sewing half an inch here, it will come over to 10 
and half which is your actual bust point this is my waist at 17 i added half that is seven, 17 and half and this is my hip um at 28 and a half and i added half that is 29 and what i have here is the full length of this dress at 58 inches okay the full length of the doll face fabric so now we want to start off this tutorial this is our center front this is the center back so from the shoulder line the first thing we are going to do okay let me just rule this line So I'll start from the shoulder line, which is the starting line. I'm going to measure our natural neckline, which is always three inches. But this can vary for plus size as well. Using your bust divide by 12, you'll be able to get your natural neckline, okay? So from that center front line, I'll still measure my, um, I'm measuring my shoulder. My shoulder is 17 and a half, and I'll add half an inch for sewing allowance, which is, Eight, uh, 8 inches okay my shoulder is 15 inches divide by 2 will give me 7.5 this is 7 and a half plus half an inch that is 8 and a half so at this 8 inches so at this 8 inches I'll come in with my shoulder drop of 1 inch and I'm going to connect this shoulder drop to the natural neckline the normal way we do that so we'll stop at this Next, we'll come to the bust point line because our, uh, our cow dress is going to pass through the bust point line. So from the center front, my bust uh, span is 8. I'll add half an inch for sewing. That is uh, 8 divided by... My, my bust span is 8. Divide by 2 will give me 4. So from the center front, I'll measure four, add half an inch, that is four and a half. So whatever your bust span is, add half an inch, divide it by two, and add half to it. So I've gotten this mark right there. So next, we'll go over to the waistline. I'm working with waist 40, divide by four is 10 inches. So I'll add one inch for ease to it this is my one inch for ease to it and i'm going to add half an inch uh, to to stitch the cow okay so for here i'll just add half an inch then i'll come over to the hip line i'm working with hip 50 divided by four is 12 and a half so this is my 12 and a half so i'm going to add one inch is to the hip line and then i'll add one inch sewing allowance okay so please understand what i did right here you can see that when we came to the waistline i took my waist 40 divided by 4 is 10. i added one inch for ease and half inch because that is where we are going to have the cow that is why i added half an inch so this is not actually the a full seam allowance for the dress so i'll come over to the hem on the hem part i'm going to measure from the hem remember i am working with a um, in fact the easiest way to do that let us not waste our time here just take your measurement from the center front to this point we have four and a half so this four and a half come over to the hem and take away one inch from the center front i'll measure 13 and a half this time because i've taken away one inch so by the time i use a uh, half an inch to uh, one inch to sew i'll be left with 12 in 12 and a half inches so here i'll position my ruler here to mark the pencil effect which we usually have for our gown okay So our seam allowance is here. Please take note of that, that the seam allowance is included. Now, I'll come over with my hip curve. I'm going to connect from the waistline to the hip line, okay? While it continues into the hem, okay? So please don't give any puff. 
okay so i just blended it so once that is done the next we are going to do is to connect from the the shape of that uh, cow the cow effect so you can see how i play so if you don't have this hip curve you can also use your body curve ruler okay but i think the hip curve will give us something uh, finer so we have different kind of body curve rulers you can also use this one okay to achieve what you want just from this point to this but i prefer to go with this because i think i have the shape i need right here so from here the shoulder line i'm going to connect to my bust point line to have that shape so and from there i'll come up from here from the hip i'll come up uh, from the hip by three inches so this is my three inches and that is where we'll have the cow can see then from this point we are going to connect it to the three inches above the uh, hip line so here if i use my ruler i might not really have the curve i want if i say let me use my ruler to form that curve i might not really have the curve okay so i've just tried uh, using all my rulers for that curve and i didn't really get the shape i want so i will advise you freehand that part okay so you just take your time and make a curve this way just try to be creative at that point and from there i'm making a curve that will get to that three inches and that is where our cow is going to be so as you can see right here so you can actually see that i just gave myself a good curve that blended into the shape as you can see right there on the some nail so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut because we have all our seam allowances right here so before you cut make sure you have cross checked everything okay on the shoulder from the center front i'm working with um shoulder 15 divided by 2 7.5 i added half an inch to sew the cow on the bust line i have bust circumference uh, bust span 4 inches divided by 2 uh, sorry, 8 inches divided by 2 is 4. I added half an inch for sewing allowance. Then we'll also go over to the hip. Now you can see that the ease we even added to the waistline. We are not going to make use of it again. Because the cow part, this part will be cut out to give room for the cow. Then going over to the hip, the hip is... 12 and half that is 50 divided by 4 12 and half plus one inch for ease and one inch sewing allowance so we want to go over to the neckline to create the neckline of your choice so neckline is by choice so for your neckline you can go ahead and do 4.5 okay if you need it very wide you can do 4.5 so when you sew you will have it at five then if you want it not too wide, you can do four inches. By the time we sew in, um, we tuck in 0 0.5, it will land you at 4.5. So let us do four inches. I think four inches will be okay. And then the depth of your neckline, I'll also do four inches. So by the time I'm done sewing, it will land me at four and a half. You can also make it deeper. You can also decide to make four and a half. So by the time you are done sewing, it will land you at about 5 inches. So it depends on you. So I'm going to connect this to this right now. So now I've already I've marked my 4 and half. So I'll be working with the 4 and half. So after sewing, we'll have it at 5 inches. I don't really like uh, too much wide um, necklines. Okay, so if you need more, you can go by 5. So after sewing, you'll have 5 and half. But I don't really like wide necklines okay so i'll just make my square because i want to form my curve appropriately so i'll just sit in my ruler right here on this point 
and make my curve. I'll just create my curve, okay? So this is the kind of neckline I want for this dress. But note that the back will not be as deep as this. So the back neckline right now, we are going to create it right here. So for the back neckline, I'm going in by 3 inches. Okay, I really need it wide at 3 inches. So let me do, oh, let's do 2 and half. Okay, so it's between be two at 2 wide. So if you want a zipper to it, you will still sew a zipper to it. So for this, I'll just connect my neckline from there to here. Okay. So I'll just connect my neckline to that point. So now we are going to cut and we are cutting the back first. We are going to cut. So this is what we have after cutting. Can you see that? That is what we have after cutting. So you can see we cut through that line. Okay. So that is it. So the next thing we are going to do now is to insert our fabric. So I'm inserting my fabric right now below it. So the fabric I'm working with right here is two yards. Okay. For the cow. So these two yards are also place it on fold this way and place it again on fold because i need four pieces of it it's going to be four pieces okay so the four pieces of it please you need to be careful how you place it so i'm done in, in uh, folding it the fourth time okay so i have four pieces here when i fold them two three four so i'll just quickly or carefully place this on top of this so when you are placing this please ensure you have your you have the uh, the main body pinned okay you need to pin it so i'll quickly pin the main bodies now to it So now you can see I've inserted the and pinned it. Okay, I've inserted the cow uh, fabric and pinned it. So now, as I've pinned it, the next I'm going to do now is to start creating the cow effect on this part. And to do that, I'm going to follow the shoulder slope. This is the shoulder slope. I'll place my ruler this way from that shoulder slope. I uh, keep sloping it down, okay? I uh, keep sloping it down. So now, the sleeve length uh, from the nip of the neck, from your nip of the neck, the sleeve length is uh, 22 inches. That's from your center back, you measure. So I'll place my tape now on the 8 inches plus the seam allowance I added, and I'm going to measure on that slope, 22 inches. So this 22, I measured here, half an inch is to tuck in or to sew in the uh, uh, the rope, okay? There's going to be a rope at the sleeve part, so I added half an inch for it, okay? But the actual measurement, you have to take your own actual measurement. So once that is done, I'm going to place my ruler straight on that part, and I'm going to measure the part that we are going to have the sleeve pass. So the sleeve is going to pass at, um, it's going to have a rope. So it depends on if you want to gather that part before you add your rope. You can decide to, after sewing, you gather. But the actual point where this is going to sit is somewhere at the elbow. 
So I will advise you take the measurement somewhere at your elbow. So, so this is my elbow and I have um, that, uh, 13, and 13 inches. So when you divide 13 inches, you have six and a half. So from this point, I'm going to measure six and a half plus my sewing allowance, which is seven inches. Okay. So I will just make a mark at seven inches. So just measure your round elbow measurement. So if you want to give some gathers to it, you can extend maybe to 10 inches and run a little gather. Okay. But since it's a card dress already, so we'll just leave it at that point. So the next thing I will do now is to start from this point to curve the cow. Of course, you know our cow dress. If you're actually making a cow dress, normally without this design, you just go in this way and form the cow. So make sure you form the cow appropriately. So I'll just form the cow curve. All right, so after forming the cow, the next thing we'll do now is to go back to the part we are going to attach the cow. And we are going to make, um, uh, create our, mark out this line on the cow fabric. You can see what I'm doing. I'm marking it out because by the time we take off this pattern and this fabric right now, I'm going to add 0 0.5 inch inwards for our seam allowance so make sure you have all your lines on this before you take off your fabric so i'm done and i'm taking off my pins then what i have here i'm going to cut it right now adding my seam allowances so my seam allowance i'm going to add my seam allowance on this part so my seam allowance here, I'll add half an inch. So remember on the shoulder line, we already added seam allowance. So we are adding seam allowances. On this part, we are going to join on the body. So I'm adding So I'm adding seam allowance to it. Okay. So that is that, that. Then I will now come over to the shoulder to cut. We already have a seam allowance on the shoulder. So I would advise you don't bother yourself with seam allowance. Then on this part, I also added seam allowance, but I just want to add more seam allowance of half an inch more just to create this uh, cow the way I, I desire. So I'm, I'm cutting into, okay. So I'll make a notch to that point that where we'll stop our sewing. I'll just make a notch so I'll know when I'm sewing, I'll know where to stop. So I will start sewing in this part right now. I will also make a notch to the 7 inches where we are going to attach our strip, uh, our strip uh, band. Okay, so that is it. So now we will start off the sewing. Now we want to start off sewing this dress. We are done cutting. So I will separate back and front piece. So this is my front. So I'll just open it up to the right side and lay my lace fabric, okay? So I'm going to place my lace on top of it now. So there are so many ways of placing your lace. You can decide to go ahead and sew. You can decide to go ahead and gum. So, but I'll first of all cut it off because we are going to turn our neckline with the lace. So once we turn the neckline with the lace now, is going to serve as lining this part will serve as lining for us so let me quickly cut it then we'll turn all right so this is what um it looks like right now after placing my lace on top of it so this is the front piece so i'll be cutting the back piece now so after placing the lace for the back this is what i have after placing the lace on the back as you can see 
so right now we'll go over to the machine to stitch all of this together all right so the first place i'm going to join now is the neckline so this is the shiny part which should be placed um, on top while you place your lace so at the end of the day you see that shiny effect so i'm going to sew it now i'm going to sew this this way by flipping this to this you can see how i did that so i'm kissing it this way so by the time i sew 0 0.5 inch now it turns this way so i'll quickly sewing so in my neckline i even use my hemming gum so i will have it uh, relax very well for me so this is what a hemming gum is i i usually love to use it to sew my necklines so now i'll just put some notches because this is a curvy neckline so you have to put snip um, notches to allow it to turn easily for you so once i'm done with that i'll now go ahead to top stitch by flipping all my seams okay i'm going to flip all my seams to the line and i'll top stitch on top of it all right so now you can see i've given it a good press for front and for back so i'll just go ahead and bring right side to right side for the back so this is the zipper part and this is the neckline so i'll just use this one to demonstrate to you how to go about it so i'll just go ahead as this one is i'll just insert it in inside here make sure you align it okay it has to be aligned on the edge you can use a pin to secure it so i'll just go ahead and align the four edges and sew a straight stitch to it let me so i'm done sewing running my stitch to it so i'll just turn it to the right side so when you turn it to the right side you can see the neckline aligns appropriately at that point so now i'll repeat the same for the other part and we have a neat finish i'll also give it a good press so i'll repeat the same for the other and we'll proceed so i've gone ahead to sew down the lace to the fabric so i have to sew everything holding the lace and the fabric together by running my stitches from end to end so the next thing we want to do now is to sew the sleeves before we close the sides so you can see we have a neat finishing here so all we need to do now is to attach our sleeve so to attach this sleeve on the shoulder seam line here this is our sleeve so i'm going to show you how you sew it and attain a neat finishing as well so remember we have notches upon notches on this so i'm f i'm going to pick one and two for one sleeve to demonstrate this so i've picked one on two now and this is the side i notched if you remember i placed a notch for where the the arm is going to pass so i will go ahead and sew this line before attaching it on the on the cow part this is the part of the cow so i'll just put them together right side to right side i run a straight stitch on the shoulder seam line to the sleeve now let me do that already run my stitch holding the two shoulders together so i'm going to sew in this is the part i have my notch and that is where we we'll have our sleeve so that means this part this part of the sleeve now the sleeve will, the arm will come out from this side and this is the part of the curve that we are going to attach so i just bring in my my fabric now to the side that has this part so this is the side that this curve is going to be sewn into can you see so i'll just go ahead on the shoulder seam line here which we have neatly finished i'll bring in this part and lay it on exactly on the seam line so i'll just go ahead now and open up the seams and sew at 0 0.5 from end to end i'm done sewing my strips and i've turned them so i will just use one to show you i will put 
these two together and get the midpoint. This is my mid point. So at this mid point now, I'll come over to the sleeve. I'll come over to the sleeve. So this mid point, I'll just hold it down with my pin right away. So if you not look at the sleeve, you notice that we had notch. We had our notch at seven inches when we cut. So I'm trying to put the notch together. So this is the notch. I'm going to put a cut to it at 0 0.5. So please try and do this so you'll be able to sew this strip well. So can you see? So I've separated the part I'm going to sew. So you can see I gave a cut at 0 0.5. So I'll bring in my, my uh, strip now. And I'm going to secure it with my pin right here at the mid seam line. Because that is the center um, part of this. This is the band. So I, you can see I stopped at the half and the, uh, the mark I gave. Can you see that? So now this is how it is. And I top stitched on top of it. I top stitched on top of it to cover up the seams. You can still go ahead and search this part if you want. So the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and put each end together you can see that same line from that uh, mark i'm going to close up the sides following the curve and taking one inch from the hip line so i'll sew 0 0.2 0 0.5 from here to the waist and i'll sew one inch down and we are done all right so i'm done closing all the sides as you can see right now so this part is the cow effect I'll open it up and put some notches to it, give it a good press. So this is what it looks like. So you can see my my strips now. Okay, so you can now go ahead and tie your strip the way you know how. Okay, so that gives it more beautiful effects. Okay. So that is it. So the dress is actually looking gorgeous with this cow effect. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming. See you in the next class. Bye.